Hi guys, my name is Laura Cardozo and today I'm going to show you how to get the cheapest flights. For the past year I've been on a long distance relationship going back and forth between Portugal and the Netherlands and with all that flight search I've created the perfect three-step resolution to get the cheapest flights. So the first step is going to a website that collects all of the flat data from different companies. I personally use JetCost, but you can also use another one like Skyscanner or Momondo. On these websites, what you need to see is which companies do the trajectory that you want for the cheapest. For example, in my case, while I was going back and forwards between Portugal and the Netherlands, I could see that KLM, Transavia, Ryanair, TAP and Vueling were the companies that to the trajectory that I wanted. Now, the cheapest companies were Ryanair and Transavia. And the step two is go to the company's website. And the reason why I personally like to go to the company's website is that they have more clear prices. For example, on AirDreams, usually you, you have to pay like hidden taxes in the middle so the price will get the same. So just go to the company website because especially you even get the best treatment there. Step three, search each flight alone. Like for example, if you're going from Spain to Germany, search the flight from Spain to Germany in one research and then do another research to find the cheapest flight from Germany to Spain. And I say this because sometimes mixing two different flight companies makes you have the cheapest outcome. For example, you have company A that is charging 200 euros for the both flights and you have company B that is charging 150 euros for both flights. And the natural choice would be to choose company B because they have the cheapest flight and you'd save 50 euros compared to company A. Now, if you had searched the flights alone, you could see that company A, it's charging 50 euros from the flight to go and 150 euros for the flight to come back. And if you go to company B, you can see that they are charging 100 euros for the flight to go and 50 euros for the flight to come back. Now, if you had mixed the companies, mixed the flights, and you have gotten the flight to go from company A, that is 50 euros, and the flight from company B to come back, that is another 50 euros, your overall price of your flight would be only 100 euros. So, so you would be saving in more 50 euros compared to the company B price. And this is why I usually search the flights alone. Now, some little things you need to take in consideration when you're searching for your flights. For example, if you live in a place that it's almost the same time to go to airport B and to airport 8, make sure you know how much you will spend in which trajectory, because like that if, for example, in place A it's less expensive than in place B, but if you take longer going to place A, maybe it's worth it that you go to place B. For example, if on place A your flight is 20 euros and in place B your flight is 40 euros but you spend extra 20 euros going from your house to place A, then it's the same price going to place B even though it's more expensive there but you take less time and that's really important. Like being on a plane for hours it's really devastating so take that in consideration. The second thing I need you to take in consideration is there is companies like Ryanair that charge for the baggage. For example, Ryanair charges around 8 euros to 14 euros of the carry-on baggage that is like only 10 kilograms, like the standard one. And that's it guys, hopefully I helped you with this video. If I didn't, well, I'm really sorry, I really tried and thanks for watching.